Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! We are continuing playing as the opponents. Now for this duel, I think I'll choose Dragonity. Dragonity. I don't know why I can't pronounce that correctly right away. Either way though, I thought about uh, building a plant deck, but nothing came to mind. I mean, yeah, I have the cards, but still, for some reason, I just can't think of anything. Anything. All right. Let's see what I'm dealing with here. Agudity once per turn. And select one. And the special summon. Okay. When this card is normal or special summoned, and then this. I think I'll just normal summon him. Now I'll attack. I'm still learning how to make this, how to make this deck have a, like a good combo. Nice. I activate the field spell Dragon's Ravine. Excuse me. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'll do this. I'll send this one to the graveyard. Send this one to the graveyard. Now there's too many cards on the field. To... There's too many cards on the field to special summon a monster to the graveyard. I don't want to waste my monster. I don't want to waste this. Oh, I haven't summoned this one yet. Now to perform a link summoning. <clears throat> Dragonity eight Tyrants. Now I'll activate his ability. Oh, oh, that was a good, good effect. Now let's see. Oh, I can't bring it back. Ah. Uh. Now I bring back my Dragoonity armor, or my Lano. Activate my monster's ability. Nice. Now I can summon <clears throat> Dragonity Knight Ascalon. Now then, my monsters will attack. Let's see here. If an opponent declares a battle, battle damage, then you could add one. It's not a bad trap card to have. Not to mention, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice mixture of, uh, 
excuse me, Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, Super Saiyan. A Yu-Gi-Oh character going Super Saiyan. Alright, now, the Link monster, no. Well, my, my dragons will attack. Second phase, I activate the spell card One Day of Peace. And I'll place this card face down. And that's all. Let's see what this one does. The special summon one. Back to the graveyard. I summon Dragoonity Trammels. Let's see. Then I'll activate Call of the Haunted. And I'll bring back the monster I just sent to the graveyard. Now I can perform a link summoning. I'll take the two monsters monsters I just summoned and link summon them together to summon Dragoonity Knight and Remnants. Now I activate his ability. Now I can take one Dragoonity Bell or Trap card from my deck and add it straight to my hand but I'll waste no time activating it. Dragoonity Knight a Divine Lance and I'll equip it onto Ascalon. Now I activate Ascalon's special ability. I remove one on Dragoonity and remove it from play. Then I'll activate another ability. Now I send Call of the Haunted and then I'll send another monster from the extra deck to the graveyard. Now first my Link monster will attack. Then Dragoonity Knight eight. And then finally, Ascalon. Alright. Now for this one. I think I'll use the Ancient Gear deck for this duel. I activate Ancient Gear Castle. Then I'll place one monster face down, and that's all I'm going to do. I summon Ancient Gear. Flammer. I send one card to the graveyard so I can take, take an Ancient Gear card and add it straight to my hand. And I choose Ancient Gear Fusion. And I'll waste no time activating it. I fuse together all three of my Ancient Gear monsters. One from my field and the other two from my hand. To summon Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Now, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem will attack.
I place one card face down, and my monster will attack. Shield wing may not be able to be destroyed, but it's my monster still does piercing damage. I activate a great eight town or gear town, I should say. I don't know why I said great town. It it's gear town. Ugh. This is what happens when I woke. This is when I happens every day. My brain's. I feel awake, but my brain doesn't feel like it's fully awake. Yeah, that or I just enjoy a game and I don't really think about things. Not as often as I should, it, anyway. Okay, so we got two duels done. Now we're playing as Leo. And for this duel, I'm going to use my Dark Magician deck. Sayer. The, the Psychic Duelist. I summon Magician's Rod. Alright. With his special ability, I'm allowed to take a Magician Shin card from my deck and add it straight to my hand. Now I activate that card. Illusion Magic. Now I review my spellcaster. Now I can take two copies of my dark two copies of Dark Magician and add it straight to my hand from the deck. Then I'll lay down one card face down. Then I'll activate one day of peace. And then, thanks to my one day of peace card, I'll activate Magician's right hand. And that'll end my turn. I activate the trap card, my soul card, which allows me the special, uh oh, not anymore, I should have known he had a mystical space typhoon, oh well. I summon Magician Valkyrian. Magician's Valkyrian will attack. He prevented me summoning a Dark Magician card. For now. I don't think I've ever seen him play that field spell card before. I place one monster face down defense mode, and that's all I'm going to do. Alright. You've attacked Magician's Robe. Now let's see here. I summon magi another copy of Magician's Rod. And just like before, I'll take one card from my, <clears throat> my deck and add it straight to my hand. This time I choose Dark Magic Curtain. Now Magician's Rod will attack. Second phase. Well, I honestly can't do anything right now. 
So I'll just end my turn. Oh ho. That's going to be trouble. Luckily, though, I activate my Magician's Robe special effect. Now I can summon Dark Magician from my deck. Now he's out on the field. Well, he was. I'll just switch my mob's magician's rod to defense mode, and I'll place one card face down, and that's all I'm going to do. I kind of wish he would return my magician's rod to the field. I'll just take the damage. Hmm. I activate Call of the Haunted. I'll bring back my Dark Magician. Then I'll activate a thousand knives to destroy the Archfiend monster. Hmm, not bad. Dark Magician will attack. Sayer's just going to gain more life points. Nice. I summon Valkyrian. Or Magician's Valkyrian, to be more precise. And I'll declare a direct attack. I'll put one monster face down, and my Magician's Valkyrian will attack directly. I flip up Magician's Robe. Then I'll summon Defender the Magical Knight. Okay. I switch my Magician's Robe and my a Magical Knight to Defense Mode. Then I'll place one monster face down. And that's all. You've attacked Royal Magical Library.
Nice. I activate Swords of Revealing Light. I'll place one more. I'll place one monster face down defense mode, and that's all. Thanks to this monster, I can't attack. I switch my Valkyrie into defense mode. Well, this card, I can't use it since Dark Magician's already in my graveyard and in my hand. I activate Emergency Provision. Well, might as well. I sacrifice Magician's Robe and one Face Down Monster so I can summon Dark Magician. The only thing I can really do is hope that I can get a Dark Magician Girl and the others and that certain spell card. Well, that's all I can do. Activate another soul card, activate its effect. Now get this. Now I can take Magician's Rod. I'll take back, I'll tribute my Valkyrian. Then I can activate Magician's Robe. I'll place Magician's Robe in defense mode. Now Magician's Rod returns to my hand. I activate Magical Defender's effect. Using a one spell counter and saving my Dark Magician. Okay, in order for this to work, I need Magician's Rod on the field. I summon Magician's Rod. Nice. Now I activate Dark Magical Circle. Bonus! Now, Magical Library, activate your ability, using up all three spell counters. I switch my Dark Magician to Defense Mode. That's all I'm going to do. I activate my soul card. Now I can special summon one dark magician sent from the grave or my hand, and I choose my hand. Okay, this is gonna be. I activate dark magical circle to destroy one card on my opponent's side of the field. Now I activate a 
effect of my magician's rod. I'll trivia one magician's rod from my field so I can take magician, another copy of magician's rod and add it to my hand. Now, I sacrifice Nice Defender the Magical Knight to summon the Dark Magician Girl. And then I'll activate my soul card. Now I can bring back A dark magician from my de on my graveyard. That activates dark magical circles effect. I destroy one monster on the field or banish it from play. Then I'll activate dark burning magic. When dark magician and dark magician girl are on the field. I can activate this spell card, destroying all cards on the field. On my opponent's side, that is. And now, I'll do this. I'll perform an XC summoning. To summon Elder Illusion Dark Magician. Well, mine's the dark part. <laughs> now, Dark Magician Girl will attack. I know what you're saying. What was the point of summoning that monster? Well, it was just in case purposes, in case he had something in his hand. I'm not too familiar with... Uh, Sayer's deck, so had to be had to be certain. So we got three duels done. And then we're gonna move on and play as uh, what's her name? Carly. That's her name, Carly. So next time we'll play as Carly, and hopefully I will build a new deck. If not, then oh well. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. All Night Gamer Guy, out.